All right, happy first game in Minnesota for the Padres. They get the win over the Twins. This, uh, you know, the, the first like seven, eight innings, it was not going to end up being the best, most encouraging win for the Padres, at least offensively. But then we felt better when Manny hit that absolute bomb. That, that pitch was a meatball. Uh, Joey Gallo didn't even move. So that was really good. Uh, Manny, multi-hit day for him. Juan Soto. I mean, yeah, it's one game, and I'm not going to say he's back, but that was one of his best games in a Padre uniform. Two doubles. I think he had two singles as well. He walked once, got on base. I must have got on base every time, right? All five at-bats. Uh, Tatis made some things happen on the bases, stolen base. Take advantage of the Twins playing really sloppy baseball. They had three errors in one inning, so the Padres scored their two go-ahead runs on no hits. Nola had that bunt after Kim had this took he took third base. I don't know if they can account that as a stolen base because no one was covering third. Miranda, the Twins' third baseman, was thinking Nola was going to bunt, so he was really focused on that, and no one was covering. So Kim just took third. Nola bunts. Kim scores, um, and then Nando scores. Vasquez behind the plate. Nando's like a foot away from third base after stealing second, taking third on an error because the bad throw by Vasquez, Vasquez throws, tries to backpick Nando, and I think it hits off Nando or, or Miranda at third, and Nando ends up scoring, and then Manny blows it open, allows Josh Hader to sit, so he doesn't have to pitch uh, on, it wouldn't be back-to-back -back days because they had the day off on Monday, but two games in a row, Tim Hill comes in to finish it, Nick Martinez, that was, I mean, some fans might not have, enjoyed Nick Martinez pitching today like it wasn't super flashy but I enjoyed him changing up his delivery timing uh you know really utilizing that clock to his advantage not just getting in a, a rhythm not allowing the batter to know when he's going to deliver the ball not just getting the ball and pitching sometimes he did that but sometimes he would just stand there and wait wait till there was like one second left before starting his windup, which is all you need to do. And so he was effective there. Steven Wilson was effective. He's been really good, I think, so far this season for the Padres for the most part. Michael Waka, back-to-back -back six innings uh, starts from him. Yeah, the fourth inning was a little rocky. I think back-to-back -back walks, but he only allows one run in that inning. Soto made a good catch in left field to prevent one of the runs, that, that second run, from scoring. Um, look, you're going to take the win. I'm going to take the positive aspects from this win. Nando getting his first stolen base of the year. Manny hitting an absolute bomb. Soto getting on base like every time. Uh, a four-hit game from him. Bogey made a nice play at shortstop in that ninth inning. I think that was for the second out of the inning. Uh, it was not at short. Shallow left, but really good ranging play there. Manny made two barehand uh, plays on kind of like swinging bunts there at third base, made another play on a line drive that was, he was positioned like at shortstop. So they were kind of shifting still on that play, but hey, it's a win. The Twins are in first place in their division. I know the division isn't that strong, but the Twins, they have good pitching. Pablo Lopez is going to be tough tomorrow. And then I believe it's Bailey Ober in the series finale. That guy has been pitching well for the Twins. So it's going to be tough, but they got this first win and it makes you feel much better, I think, after almost winning that Dodger series, right? Being one out away and then losing in extras, but they get a win in Minneapolis. Uh, man, Manny crushed that ball.